Hello there, I'm Arthur Sleeping. Here's the news. Breaking news. There's an emoji ball that has been escaped. So be on the lookout for that in today's episode. And oh, there it went. <laughs> and now this. It was early in the morning in Sean's world, and Postman Pat was making his way around the island to deliver the post. Let's see, our first stop is the Lazy Town Town Hall. He drove his way to Lazy Town with no worries, but on the way back... <laughs> Whoa! Ugh, <laughs> oh, that's done it. And I have an important parcel to deliver to Ponty Pandy too. Then he heard a whistle. It was Thomas. Morning, Pat. Need some help? Yes, Thomas. I have this parcel to deliver to Ponty Pandy, but I've got a flat tyre. Could you deliver this for me? Certainly. I'm off duty today anyway, so I'll help you. Splendid. Do be careful, though. It is fragile. Thomas's driver took the parcel from Pat, and Thomas puffed along the branch line. He was just about to make a turn to Silver Hatch when he slowed down. These tracks are bumpy, and they may break the parcel. Need some help, Thomas? Yes, Helly. This parcel needs to go to Ponty Pandy, but these tracks are too bumpy and may cause the parcel to break. Never fear, Thomas. I know a friend. Then Helly spoke into his radio. Helly to Budgie, do you copy? Budgie to Helly, I hear you. How can I help? Meet at Silverhatch, parcel needs to be delivered. Repeat, parcel to be delivered from Silverhatch to Ponty Pandy. Over. I'm on my way. Over and out. Who was that? That was my friend, Budgie. He makes deliveries like Postman Pat, only he flies in the air. Cool. Soon, Budgie hovered over Silverhatch. Ready for my delivery, Helly. It's right down there, Budgie. Budgie lowered his winch grabbed hold of the parcel and lifted it inside him. I can take it as far as Balamori, but then I'll need to refuel. That's all right. My friend Ten Cents can help from there. Good, Good luck, luck, Budgie! Budgie. Budgie set off for Balamori with the important package, and when he got there, he gave the parcel to Ten Cents, a tugboat. One fragile parcel to Ponty Pandy. Got it, bud! Thanks, Ten Cents. As Ten Cents sailed off, he met Top Hat. What ho, Ten Cents? Out on a delivery, eh? That's right, Top Hat. It's going to Pondy Pandy. Well, I'd take care if I were you, old chap. I've heard some windy weather is coming our way, and it may tip you over. We don't want the parcel to break, do we? It's all right, Top Hat. I'll only go halfway, and then I'll ask for help then. Ten Cents started off once more and forgot he said he was just going halfway. He tried to go further, but then he felt the strong winds that Top Hat warned him about, which caused him to wash up onto the shore. Oh, boat! How's this parcel going to get delivered now? No problem, came a voice. It was Steady Eddie, Sean's world's very own delivery truck. Ah, oh, Eddie, this parcel needs to go to Ponty Penny as soon as possible, and it's fragile. Luckily, Lofty happened to be passing at that moment. Uh, hello, Ted Sets. Steady Eddie, could I help you? Yeah, just carefully put this parcel into Steady Eddie. Could you do that? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. As carefully as he could, Lofty loaded the parcel into Steady Eddie, and soon Eddie was off. Meanwhile, at the fire station, Sam told Station Officer Steele the news. 
It is quite remarkable, Sam. All four modes of transport working together to deliver that parcel. I just hope it arrives soon. Right on cue, Elvis came in with a parcel marked Fragile. This came in the pools for you, sir. Thank you, Crittington. You can just leave it on my desk. I wonder what's in it, sir. Oh, <laughs> just you wait, Fireman Sam. And Station Officer Steele started to open the parcel. Sam, Elvis, and Penny watched in excitement as Steele pulled out a portrait of the fire service to celebrate 25 years of rescues. The crew were very proud. Thomas, Budgie, Ten Cents, and Steady Eddie soon heard the news and were also very proud of themselves. They had all worked together to deliver some posts to Ponty Pandy, and it didn't even get damaged despite four different postal journeys. And at the end of the day, all it took was a game of Pass the Parcel.